Hi, my name is Ivan. I am a yoga teacher and personal trainer based in Manchester City Centre in the UK. This is from Split Flow. This practice is the perfect time to remind ourselves of the first yama or the ethical commandment of yoga, which is ahimsa, non-violence or no harm. So make sure you practice mindfully and stay into 80% of your capacity with your stretch. It should be uncomfortable but not painful. You might want to grab two blocks and the yoga strap or just a belt for this practice. I have placed a couple of playlists onto the description for you to play during the class. Make your way onto your back and let's get started. Palm of the hands are facing up, shoulders away from the ears, closing your eyes. Bring your awareness to your breast. Sending the breath to the base of the spine or the diaphragm, all the way up to the chest. Exhaling fully. I'll take a deep inhale through the nose. Open the mouth and side it out. Inhale through the nose with giant breath if you have it for six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for six, five, four, three, two, one, exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale for six, exhale for six, inhale for six, exhale for six. Keep going. Make this round your last round, the inhale. Slowly relaxing the breath once more and bring some movement to the body. Bending both knees, bring the knees to the chest and give yourself a hug. Move from side to side. Connect your forehead to the knee, lifting the upper back. Release your head down and extend the left leg to the mat. Keeping hold of the right knee, start making circle with the knee to one direction and the opposite direction. Squeeze the knee once more. Bring the left hand onto the knee, right arm. Extend to the side in line with the right shoulder. Take an inhale. Exhale, twist the knee to the left and bring the gaze to the right, spiral twist. Keep both shoulders onto the mat. Inhale, lengthening the spine. Exhale, twisting to the side a bit more. Inhale, bring the knee back. Grab the strap. And put the foot in the middle of the strap. Extend the leg. And flex the right foot. Making sure that our right leg is completely straight. 
right. encouraging the leg towards you. Option to stay here, if it's a little bit too intense for you, you can bend the left knee and bring the left foot on the mat. Bringing your awareness once more to your breath. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Place your left hand onto the left hip bone. Pull the leg towards you. Exhale, open the leg to the right. The toes are pointing towards the floor, heel up. If your left hip start lifting, maybe bring the upper body slightly to the left to counterbalance the weight. Couple more breaths here. Exhale, slowly coming out of the pose. Bring the foot over the chest once more. Bend both knees to the chest and give yourself a little hug. Extending the right leg. Make circles with the left knee. Swap direction. Inhale, bring the knee back. Right hand onto the left knee, extend the left arm in line with the shoulder palm of the hand up. On the exhale, twist the left knee to the right, looking towards your left hand. Both shoulders onto the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist to the side. Inhale, bring the knee back. Hook the foot with the strap and extend the leg. Stretching the hamstrings. Take a deep inhale, pull the leg towards you a little bit more. Exhale, open the leg to the left. So just down towards the ground, heel up. Bring the chest slightly to the right and pull the leg towards the ground. Exhale, bring that leg back and bend the knees to the chest. You can place the strap to the side again. Bring your hands underneath the thighs and start rolling forward and back to make your way into the tabletop. Spread your fingers wide. Crib the mat with the fingers, knees underneath the hips. Inhale, sink the belly and look up. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin to the chest. Inhale, sink the belly in and look up. Exhale, okay, angle cut back. Inhale, sink the belly in and look up. This time on the exhale, making your way into angry cut back and child's pose. Inhale into your cow. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, sink the hips down, leave the chest. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale into your cow. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale into your cobra. Exhale, child's pose. Last one. Inhale into your tabletop and your cow. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale into your cobra. Exhale, push the hips back, tuck the toes under down with facing dog. First down with facing dog. If you haven't already, you can start your ujjayi breath by closing the back of the foot. Look in between your hands and slowly make your way into the front of the mat. Forward fold. Take a wide stance with the feet and on the next inhale, rolling vertebra by vertebra into a standing position. Oh. 
coming into Yottadasana, so the pelvis on the palm of the hand facing forward. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale into your forward fold. Chest onto the thighs, bend the knees if you need to. Inhale into your half lift. Exhale, step or jump into plank. Take an inhale, protract the shoulder blades, push the floor away with your hands. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. On the inhale, it's your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Reconnect with your breath. Wrap the triceps in. Imagine you're trying to push the armpits together. Push the heels down. Sit bones up. Inhale, looking forward, bend the knees, step or jump in between your hands. And inhale into your half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, Tadasana. One more. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, into your half lift. Exhale, step or jump into your plank or straight into your chaturanga. Exhale, take your knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. And on the inhale, come into your back bend. Squeeze the shoulder blades together in your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Making some space. If you lost your jai breath, get back into it. Closing the back of the throat slightly. Taking one more inhale. Exhale, look in between your hands. Step or jump. Inhale into your half lift. This time on the exhale, making your way into your malasana, separating the feet, toes pointing out, sitting onto your yogi squat. Keeping the heels down, push the weight onto the outside of the feet. Inhale, lift the chest. Push the hips forward and the shoulders back. You can stay here if you want to make it, if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, extend the arms forward. Squeeze the gut. Reconnect with your breath. On the exhale, release the hands down and making your way into your downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg lifts. Three-legged Point the toes. Press the left heel down. Exhale, bring the knee forward. Shoulders over wrist. Knee to chest. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, we lift. Last one. Inhale, we lift. This time bend the knee, flex the right foot and spread the hips towards the sky. Start bringing the gaze towards your right armpit. Exhale into those. Inhale, spread the hips this time, making your way into your wild thing. The right foot goes behind you, lift the right arm up. Exhale, lift the hips. Wild thing. Making your way back into your three-legged dog. Exhale into your knee to chest. Look in between your hands and step the right foot. Drop the left knee. Drop the block on the other side of the feet. Inhale, lift the chest. Option to stay here or reach the arms up, taking a piece of grip to come into a deeper back bend. Exhale, make your way back onto the block with your hands to your half split. 
slide the right foot forward a tiny bit more so my hips are over the left knee option to stay onto the block and bring your hands underneath the shoulders or if you've got the mobility bring your hands onto the mat keep the back straight squeeze the shoulder blades back the gaze is forward If you want to go a little bit deeper, start walking your hands forward, keeping the back straight still and folding onto the right leg. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, start walking your hands back underneath the shoulders and then the right knee. Tuck the left toes under, lift the left knee. knee inhale into your high lunge. Bring the gaze up to the sky. Inhale, opening into your warrior to roll onto the left heel. Squeeze the glute to tuck the pelvis on them. Inhale, extend the right leg and dialing forward into Trikonasana on the exhale. Bring the gaze towards your left hand. On the exhale, now bend the right knee, circle the left arm down and place it next to the right foot. Roll onto the left toes, bend the right knee. On the inhale, lift the right arm up to the sky. Drop the left knee, bring the foot off the mat and grab the left foot with your right hand. Come into your twist, kicking the right leg back. If you want to go a little bit deeper, you can rub the right ankle with the left hand. Coming into a deep quad stretch, hip flexor stretch on the left side. Inhale, release the left foot. Place the right elbow in front of the left elbow or the right hand on the inside of the right foot and come into your lizard pose. Inhale, coming back onto your hands, if you came with me. And exhale, drop the right knee behind the right wrist. Flex the toes and make your way into your pigeon. Bring your fingertips either side of the mat, take an inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward and stay. Extending the arms forward. Remember to keep the weight towards the left side of the body. Come back onto your hands, tuck the left toes under and step back into plank. Inhale into plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Inhale, roll over the toes, back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Reconnecting with the breath. Inhale, the left leg lifts. Three legged dog. On the exhale, knee to chest, roll the shoulders over the wrist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, we lift. This time, bend the knee, flex the left foot, and spit the hips to the left. Look underneath your left armpit. Split dog. On the exhale, drop the left foot behind you and make your way into your wild thing. Reach the hips high, left arm over there. Relax the breath. Inhale, look towards the mat. Bring the left hand back. Three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the knee to chest. Look in between your hands and step the left leg. Drop the right knee. Grab the block. Lift the chest. And we're lifting the chest. Option to stay on the block. Or if you want to come with me, reach your arms overhead, take a pistol grip. And come into a back bend. Now 
Uh, so release the hands onto the block, making your way into your half split. Option to slide the left leg forward. The back is nice and straight. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, we fold onto the left leg. Keep the hips square. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, make your way back into your low lunge. Low lunge. Take your right toes under, lift the right knee. Inhale, high lunge. Bring the gaze up to the sky. Right leg extended towards the back of the mat. Exhale, opening into your warrior two. Right foot parallel to the back of the mat, left knee over the left ankle. Relax the shoulders. Inhale, extending the left leg. Exhale, make your way into your trikonasana, diving forward to the left arm. Exhale, mark over the left knee, windmill the right arm forward. Place it next to the left foot. Roll onto the right toes, then the left knee. Inhale, reach the left arm up, twisted lunge. Drop the right knee and grab the foot with the left hand. Option to stay here or drop onto your right elbow. Grab the left foot with your right hand, open the chest. Moving with the breath on the exhale, release the foot, wheel me on the left arm forward. Option to stay onto your elbows, lizard pose. Inhale, coming back onto your hands, drop the left knee behind the left wrist and make your way into your pigeon. Take your time and bring your fingertips wider than the mat. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the chest, pushing the weight towards the right leg. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, fold forward and hold. Option to extend the arms forward. Take your way back onto your hands. Tuck the right toes under and take your vinyasa. Inhaling into plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Reconnecting with your breath. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, the right leg lifts. Exhale, bring the knee to the chest. And step in between your hands. Coming into our full split. You can use the block. Keep the left toes soft under. And start extending the right leg. Bring the shoulders over the hips and walk your hands back. Practicing with patience, so staying at 80% of your capacity, don't push too hard and letting gravity do the work. Once your body starts relaxing a little bit more, maybe you can get rid of the blocks and continue breathing. Inhale, slowly coming back of the pose, making your way back into your low lunge. Tuck the left toes under and downward facing dog. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, lifting the left leg up. Three-legged dog. 
Bring knee forward, exhale. Step in between your hands. Grab the blocks. Keep the right toes tucked under. Making your way into your full split. If you're not there yet, you can stay into your half split. Keeping the right toes under will help you keep your hips squared. Again, you can start with the block. And then getting rid of the block. And the body is relaxed a bit. Reconnecting with your breath. And slowly coming out of the pose. This time making your way into your child's pose. Slowly moving the hips from side to side. Whenever you're ready, making your way into your back for the final relaxation. You have the option to cool down with me or you can stop the video here and keep practicing your sit. If you're coming with me, bring the knees to the chest and give yourself a little hug. Keep the right hand over the knees, extend the left arm to the side, look towards your left hand. On the exhale, dropping the knees to the right. Pushing the left shoulder onto the mat. Inhale, bring the knees back to the chest, round your left arm around the knees, extend the right arm to the side. Inhale. Exhale, drop the knees to the left. Look towards your right hand. Inhale, bring the knees back to the chest and make your way into your finale and make your way into your Shavasana. Letting go of your Ujjayi breath. Relaxing the body. Closing your eyes. some movement back into your fingers, your toes, circling the wrists, the ankles, move the head from side to side, stretch your arms overhead, take a deep inhale through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. Bring the knees to the chest, in your own special way, make your way back into a seated position. Keep. Bring your hands into a prayer in front of the chest. Thank you for practicing with me today or tonight. Namaste.